What's up guys, General Incompetence here and welcome to episode 10 of the Alamani campaign on Rome Total War Remastered Barbarian Invasion. We made it, episode 10, and things are hotting up. So after a, a bit of a strange episode last time, we uh, we held off the Lombardi, but we managed to get our general killed in the, in the process, who was our faction leader. So we are sending our faction heir over to Vicus Franchi to, I guess, stabilize public order. But we are also moving in on Rome. We have our king camped with a full stack in uh, just north of Italy. Uh, we're going to see how they react to this, and we might look to move forward and build another fort a bit closer. See if that draws them in, because ideally we'd like them to attack us, because we know that we'll be able to defeat them. Um, so yeah, we're just going to have to see how that goes. Um, I think we're just kind of near the end of turns, really. We've uh, we've already done what assassinations we can. Um, and I don't really think there is much left to do apart from move you. We're in just at a bit of a funny stage at the moment because there are a lot of hordes around and we don't want to get caught out in the open. I know that the Lombards have just declared war on us. So we, there might be a counter-attack at some point, but we've also got the Franks that we need to worry about, the Western Roman Empire. Um, we need to think about our economy, but we still want to, you know, we want to expand. We just want to do so in a careful and considered manner. But let's keep moving. Let's see what the Lombards have got for us. So we're doing a, a, quite a lot of retraining and... Uh, Recruitment at Vickers Frankie now. Oh, the Franks look like they're coming back. Come at me, bro. I'm ready for you. Right. What do we got to work with? The hordes arrive. The Franks are back. Um. Hmm. We could do with some archers there then. Keep sending you further north. Ah, Mediolanum has grown. Let's pop in the castrum. We do need to keep a careful, close eye on our money. We can't just go on spending sprees. Earlier today, I recorded two episodes of the Egypt campaign. And uh, I'm used to be able to spend whatever money, whenever I like, on whatever I want. And I need to remember that I can't do that in this campaign. I need to be a lot more just conscious. A lot more austere, shall we say. Right, Colonia Agrippina. Yeah, you guys are fine. Someone did leave me a comment. I think it might have actually been Admiral Pompelt saying that I need you to take this fella out because he was Christian. It's not actually doing us any damage. It's only minus 5%. Um, in terms of public order, and it's not having any conversion effect because the conversion effects for, uh, for paganism are much stronger than Christianity. You'll see the breakdown of belief is going to remain at 0%. Um, so we don't need to worry about him converting the population. And things are all fine in terms of public order, so we can actually leave him in there and not have to really worry about it. So that's fine. Okay. So, um... Okay. I don't know if they're running from the Western Roman Empire. Like pussies. It's possible. Why is it all of a sudden only 33% for that? Strange. Hunting for clues. Okay. Now, who can we assassinate? 34%. 37%. 6%. We don't want to assassinate him. What about this guy? 34%. Any advances on 34%? No. Hmm. Alright, let's roll the dice. Death approaches. Missed target. Okay, well at least he didn't die. But it's not that much better. Augusta Vindeloricum. Hmm. Could probably do with actually giving you some archers. You haven't got much to defend yourselves, if I'm being honest. Okay. Lord. Hunting 
Let's just spy on this army. So Limitani, Federati Cavalry. Okay, so some common sentences. So the Sarmatian Auxilio we actually need to be properly worried about. Let's see if we can camp a little bit closer. Surely they can't ignore us when we're that close. Surely not. That's got to have some pretty bad negative public order effects in Rome. Oh, just think when, not if, when I take Rome. Oh, I'm just going to hold it, never let it go. I will obviously exterminate the entire population. Oh, Commissatensis first cohort, Lego 1 Italica. Going to enjoy fighting them. At your service. Okay, let's... Let's see what we can spy on. 75%. Any advances on 75%? Let's go with that then. And he died. Rip. That's annoying. Okay, we're going to need another one. Oh dear. General's getting there. So anything we can really do economically, that's not really adding much and it's costing us money, so we won't do that for the moment. What we can do is up the tax a little bit. Could probably afford to up the tax there, I can. Is that wise? Yeah, at least for one turn and then we'll see what our faction air can do when he arrives. And um, yeah, we'll increase some tax there. No, not at Mediolanum. And certainly not at Ravenna. Okay. I don't think there's much more we can do in terms of agents, etc. I think our best bet is just to move on. Again, the Lombards aren't really doing anything. Oh, here come the Vandals. Okay, now they're turning around. Okay, that's weird. Fair enough. So now they're in a fort, but Rome is now relatively undefended. So in theory... Yes, master. Oh, who's died? Oh no. Right, we're going to need to replace you stat. Let's immediately put in... Uh, another merchant because that was earning us like just under 900 a turn. Augusta Vindaloricum, yes. And you're going to need some more spearmen as well. Ravenna, new spy. Let's have a look. Okay, I mean, sure. 50%. Success, good. That's a nice level up. Let's move you over. Okay. Augusta Vindaloricum now has its great market. It certainly does need some stone walls. We all need stone walls to make sure that we are defendable. Mediolana is sorted. Ravenna. Now I'm expecting. Yep. that in and Colonia Agrippina um hmm it costs 1100 uh, exactly the same price but I get far more benefit from farming okay 
Now, what are the chance? Forty-eight percent chance it immediately opens the gates. Let's send one unit. Orders. Attack. Nope. No. Settlement under siege. Orders. Uh, I can't get the unit back either. I probably should have sent one of the units as spearmen. That's frustrating. Okay, let's break off the siege. Hmm. We'll leave these guys to retrain. What is that? Oh, foundry. That looks really cool. I like that artwork. Look at that. That's nice. Palantine Barracks. Great King Stables. Now we'll leave we'll leave that well alone just for now. Now let's have a look over here again. Moving. Franks can't seem to decide what it is that they want to do. Thirty-four percent. Let's try again. Surely, God, God loves a tryer, and he's been killed. Fucking hell! God damn it! Okay, let's get another. Eventually, we'll find one that sticks and doesn't keep dying. Just actually manages to stay in the fight. Um. What we would like is to retrain these chosen axemen. Now, Vickers Frankie, in you go. You haven't really had much in the way of positive impact. You're actually minus one from law. Three to management, but decreases population growth in public order. That's annoying. Minus one. Hmm. Kind of neutral overall, I'd say. What I'm trying to decide is, should we try and besiege them at the fort? We could. Orders. We'll leave it. As it is for now, we still have a 48% chance of being able to open the gate, so we might try it again next turn if this army doesn't do anything. We're happy for them to come and attack us. I mean, by all means, try. Let's go to the next turn. wonder if the Vandals, if they take that, if they'll occupy it or just loot it in Pannonia. Oh... Go on, Franks. Go on, attack attack the Western Roman Empire. No help to be found from Carnuntum. They're just going to let the Vandals do their thing. We most advanced. Let's go. Okay. Killer waiting for orders. 64%. 64%. 31. Let's go for a 64%. Oh, for fuck's sake. God dear, our assassins are awful. Let's recruit another. Ah, yes. Medialanum. And you're terrible. Well. Can I be of service? Let's go and buy out you first, see if we can make you better.
Come on. Yes, there we go. This is it, ladies and gentlemen. Rome have blundered one too many times. Okay. Tertius the Philosopher. Governor of Rome. Look at those upgrades, my goodness. I mean, we outnumber them three to one. And it is our king. However, this is Rome. These are epic stone walls. And we are going to get shot to shit on the way in. But there's no way we're not fighting this. It's Rome. And I want to see those commentators uh, in action. We have a cavalry advantage. We have a numbers advantage. Our chosen axemen are decent. We've got some berserkers as well. If we use our archers carefully, we should be okay. What I have decided, though, is we're going to send in our spearmen first to just go through the gates and take the walls and just encircle. And hopefully they start retreating back to the plaza. Like, ideally, I don't want to be fighting them before I'm up on the walls. I want to get up on the walls and take those arrow towers ASAP. Otherwise, they are going to absolutely ruin us. Come on, this is it, the sacred city. And we're going to absolutely exterminate the population when we're done. Have a massive income to our, uh, into our treasury. And by the looks of it, they've probably got like a temple in there that gives them extra boosts in terms of armor. So I might try and take advantage of that before I destroy it. And hopefully, I haven't checked, I'm hoping that Rome is pagan, not Christian, at this point. Because if it is Christian, that could become an issue. Right. The gods know that we did not look for this Oh, it's war, either raining or snowing. Let's wait. The enemy are doomed. There we go, that's mm, a bit foggy. Let's try again. That's better. Right. Our king. Look at the Colosseum. Look at these walls. You got the Hippodrome. The Imperial Palace. The Aqueduct. Let's have a look at the Aqueduct. There's all the water. Oh, that's a nice little effect, isn't it? Uh, that's nice. And then the Aqueduct going right the way round. Love that. A great forum. Where's where's the uh, religious temple? That looks like a scriptorium. That's a triumph arch. Oh shit! It's there's the Christian basilica. Fudge. Fudge. Well, that will need to come down. Now, how do we get effectively into the town plaza? Uh. We could go for a two-pronged attack and come in that way and this way. That could be a good idea, actually. Send a unit or two over here. And then we can just run along the walls. Um, right, if we are going to do that, we're going to be using Night Raiders and Spearmen. They are our least valuable troops. Very shallow deployment zone. I want to try and get back as far as I can away from the walls. Yeah, just in case we get shot, because I don't want that to happen. Right. Immediately come into the city. Oh, they've got people on the walls. 
What are they? Peasants. Ah, that's the common sentences. If we can just get up on the walls quickly, then we can take these watchtowers first. And let's also look at this side. What have they got? Not a lot, I don't think. So we can quickly get up on the walls. Oh, look, there's a way in around the back as well. Come on, in you come. Do what needs to be done. Alright. That unit needs to get a wiggle on. Come on, up you come. Uh, you were thinking about it. Come on. Up you go. You two keep doing what you're doing. I wonder if there's any visual effects of having additional armor. Not by the looks of it. But let's look at the this unit of common sentences. Oh, look at that. Legio 1 Gallic Italica. Right, what are you doing? Get up there. Come on. driven the enemy from his own walls. The way to victory is open. Good. At least they're doing it on this side. I don't understand. Can they not go up on walls? I don't I don't know what the hell they're doing. I mean, if I have to wait for the Night Raiders, I will, but I don't want to. You guys go that way. You guys take that gateway. Let's just capture as much as we can. Ah, good. They're up on the walls. Ah. Right. Now are they going... If they go down... Nope, they're not going down. Let's run that way. We can run away from them and convince this co this common sentences unit to go down. That means that we could re-steal the walls. I can't move my Lombard archers in because they'll just get attacked by the gateway. At the moment though, I'm not taking fire. sure what to do yet I might send one unit over here oh what's happening oh they're taking shots from other watchtowers so again if this unit was to fuck off over here I'd send these two units up deal with the peasants and take the gate tower that way and then get them between get them between two fronts and it would also mean I could move my archers in and start peppering them at range but at the moment they seem to be a bit frozen and look we've seen what can happen you know what, let's cautiously advance my archers. So we can always move them back if it's a problem. Okay, that's a safe range. That's a safe range. We can't quite shoot them yet. Little bit further. St 
still nothing. We know pretty much as of about here, that's when the death zone begins. Can you start shooting yet? I think they just need to be so close because the walls are so high. Just keep gently edging forwards. Ah, here we go. Hang on. Are we under attack from... I thought I heard the sound of uh, watchtowers firing, but not at the moment. You know what? Keep moving round, you lot. Move to here. I don't know why these lot aren't opening fire. Um, that's way too close. Move back, you dumb idiots. Fuck's sake. Fools. Well, they should be in range. Archers. Move, move. move yourselves a bit further forward. Maybe what I should do is try and get a side angle like that. You're going to get into the killing zone, aren't you? Or maybe not. Okay, now, can you fire? You should be able to. Let's start peppering these guys. Yeah. I mean, it is hitting them. It's not killing any yet, but I'm happy to let that keep happening. Eventually, it will take some of them out. Keep going, boys. You can take out that unit of peasants as well. Spear war band. Not killed one yet. Hurry! Let's send a unit up here. This should capture us this watchtower. Go on, in you go. There we go. Excellent. What I might do. Yeah, let's draw them this way. Any kills yet? None. Not a single kill. If I send this unit up here as well, 
we can try and sandwich this command command to tenses unit from four different from two different sides. Come on. Off you go. This should be an easy win. Yep. Okay, we've killed one. Okay, this hasn't been the most interesting battle yet, but we're working on it. Ah, good. Okay, they've left the gate open. As a potential for us to take it. Go on, keep going, keep going. Alright, if we can take the gateway, that's going to be a big help. What we're going to need is for our... Good, we've taken it. Good, good, good. Now, archers line up there. I'm going to need my warlord to our king to give us some encouragement. Raiders. Shit, they're absolutely cutting through us. We need everyone we can firing on them as well. Oh dear. I think we might need to bring in everything we've got. We, br we need to bring them all in anyway, but... This is the main unit that we need to destroy. Now, how are we doing over here? Good. Let's take this one remaining wall and then we've got them all. Ah. Imperial German bodyguard. If we were to kill him, that would certainly make me happy. Come on, get in there. How are we doing? Not very well so far. These, this unit is an absolute tank. That's why I'd prefer to have fought it out in the open field, but we couldn't pass up this opportunity to take Rome. We'll still end up winning, but that unit is going to do us a lot of damage before we, before we take the city. Right, I need a good couple of units of chosen axemen up on the walls. Let's have two of you up here. Damn it, they've broken. At least they're under 200 now. Let's bring the raiders across. Tell you what, once we deal with this unit, everyone is going to need to take a goddamn breather. Oh, look, they're starting to shake. And level up as well. Brilliant.
Why are people not getting onto the walls when I'm telling them to? Up. Oh, they're steady now. Damn it. Yeah, they are really being whittled down. Well, um, as in our men are being really whittled down. I don't get why it's so difficult for you to obey in order to get on the walls. Like, for real, just get up there. Ah, good. Archers, just keep firing. If anything, I might get you to relocate slightly to there. In fact, that you're almost out of ammunition. Come on. Come on, fellas. Good, we've got some more men coming in. Archers. Not you lot. Come on. Surely we must be getting there now. In you go. And you lot as well. Rally. Hopefully this might be a... They're wavering now. Come on. Once attacked in the rear, I'm hoping that that'll, that'll do for them. Look at that Centurion. Yes, fighting to the death. Oh, that's big. That's real big. Well done, gentlemen. You can cease fire. Now, where is everyone? And what do they have? They have Equites Sagittarii, some peasants, and then an Imperial German bodyguard. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't have much ammunition left. We only have one unit with some archers. But, it is what it is. Cavalry, which direction are you going to come in? You're going to come in from the north. So let's send you up here. And then... Infantry. Let's get you all down from the walls. Let's speed that up. I am going to need this unit of archers as well. And if the cavalry want to meet me, I'll fight them in the streets. That's fine. Especially if they just want to send one unit, and that's Missile Cav. Ready. And let's just speed up a little bit, let those winded units recover. Come on. Excellent. 
Excellent. Good. Right. Let's just get them all lined up up here. Like that. In fact, don't run. We've still got 20 minutes left, so that's fine. I'm half tempted to send my lancers in. But I will. Go on, see if you can catch him. Go, 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 go. There we go. What? My lancers should be losing. That doesn't seem right. No, there we go. Now things are turning. This should be an easy win for my Cav. I mean, don't get me wrong, the cavalry looks great. They're still all going to die. How's everyone getting on? Oh, wait. Stop. We'll just line them up here. You know what? I actually do hurry up because we haven't got all day. Do I really want to get caught in a massive cavalry battle? Maybe. I'd quite like to get my infantry involved first though. Come on, infantry, hurry the fuck up. Let's go. Okay, I'll just wait until they're not tired anymore. I'll wait until they're warmed up, and then I'll just launch them in. And then I'll send in the rest of my cav. This, is this cavalry facing the wrong way? Okay. And then archers, we can pop here. I think. Yeah. In you go, everyone. And then... Good, that charge was really masked by their own men. And in come my own infantry and cavalry. Go on, Lancers. Give them some. Bosh. Yeah, they're dropping like flies. Crush those peasants. And the bodyguard is falling fast. Yeah, we're all good. Sagittarii, the Equite Sagittarii are completely gone. Peasants are no real threat and they're dropping like flies. Yeah, we're munching everyone. I don't think there are any peasants left, are there? A couple. Two of the... Oh, it's just the general left. There we go. And just like that, Rome is ours and we are going to sack this city. Let's go.
Yeah, we lost a thousand doing it, but who gives a fuck? We got lots of heals. Who did best? That spear band did pretty well. Love it. Rome is ours. Rome is in Alemanni hands now, and we are never letting it go. They can send all the, you know, all the legions they can muster, and they wouldn't take this city back from us. Oh, that feels good. And this is... I wonder how much... I wonder if we'll get more than 20 grand for... for exterminating the city. It's certainly going to... A public order is going to be a big problem, I think. A big problem. Right, let's have a look. 20... 24 and a half thousand denarii. Almost as many people as we were out to massacre. Right, excellent. The sack of Rome has happened. Look at that. I love it. I love it. Now. Yeah, everyone is going to get upgrades. Let's just put in the units that need retraining first. There we go. Then we'll focus on the rest later. Now. This is a problem. It's going to be a big problem. Um. Okay. What is that? That's an abbey. So we'll start by destroying that. Next, we've got the Christian Basilica. Luckily, that doesn't get, provide any form of upgrades to armor or anything like that. So we will destroy that and deal with the fallout. Oh boy, yep. <laughs> That's pretty immediate. Okay, and conversion is going to start happening. So what we need to do is build... Do we want Woten, Frigg, or Donna? Let's have a look at our tree. So that's plus two morale to troops, plus 10 to happiness, and 15 to conversion. 15% to happiness. So Frigg could be a good idea, actually. Yeah, we're going to go for Frigg. Okay. And we should be able to hold off. I mean, I did. this is where ideally we could actually do with some spearmen. They'll probably attack us at Ravenna. Um, we've got two units of archers. Let's have a... No, we can't get any more. Let's get another unit of spearmen because they're good for defending. And our income has gone through the bloody roof. 75%. Uh, yep. Good. I can't believe our king didn't get any form of, like, traits or retinues for sacking Rome. No, li literally nothing. Shocking. Okay, what's happening over here? Lord, moving into position on my way. Oh, yeah, we're recruiting another assassin. That's good news. That's the remnants of the army that tried to attack us. I mean, I could finish him off if I wanted to. So they've got some chosen archers, spearband, peasants, warhounds. Fuck the warhounds. 
some mer two mercenary gold band, a couple of Lombard archers, and some Sarmatian archers. And I can't really be bothered to give chase. Okay, I think we should end the turn there and just see what Rome does. Let's just have a look southwards. I'm surprised we didn't acquire any merchants. Oh, that's an assassin. Okay, Tarento. It doesn't look like there's much militarily in South Italy. Which is, again, positive. There's only one army in Italy for Rome now. Naturally, we do want to take Tarentum, but we need to make sure we sort out Rome first, and that could end up being a bit of a long road, but that's okay. We have time. We have time. Inactive spy. Yes, I know it. it is. He's inactive. I'm aware. Oh, what have I done? I've clicked on something and I don't understand it. Your service. Okay. Goths, what what would you like? Let us now talk reasonably. Uh sure. Why not? One less war to worry about. Our thanks. How about some trade? A most generous proposal. And show us what you know. Regretfully we must decline. Fine, whatever. Ah, they've sacked it. They haven't taken it for their own. Hopefully they'll take Kanantum as well. Just stay away from me, Vandals. Oh, they're going after the Goths, are they? Curious. Oh. Lombardi marching into the Vandals. I don't think that's a good idea. Okay, we are now the richest faction. Recruitment, Ravenna, yes. Now. Okay, he is awful. But, 31. No, we'll decide what to do with him shortly. At Rome. Oh, okay. We're now up to 100%. Good, let's put in another unit of spear band and immediately get a sacred grove. Okay. Now Sir. Ninety two percent, that's good. Successful buyout, excellent. And we want to go for we'll go there. For but then we'll take out this merchant next turn. And then we'll just have a look to see who else we can pick off on our way up north. Hopefully there'll be some nice low-hanging fruit somewhere. Ah, uh, Rome. Yep, the conversion's already happening. It begins. What about religious unrest? Yeah. Christianity is causing unrest. Well, that was to be expected. At your service. Spy. What is that? Runaway slave spearmen. They look pretty terrible. At your service. Burius Flavius. You've got to be quaking in your boots over there. I don't know what the hell the Lombards are doing. Can you imagine if I had a f like this unit of Lombard Berserkers once they're fully upgraded with armor? Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Now, we need to start making some decisions. Ah, yes, hang on. Where's... Who shall die this day? 
31%. Any advances on 31%? 64%. Let's go for the 64% again. Hopefully he doesn't die. There we go. Good. Okay. 95%. Raisha. I ideally don't necessarily want to assassinate merchants because I would prefer to acquire them instead. Okay. I do appreciate we're turtling up a little bit, but we do need to just be careful. Um, Chosen Axeman. Let's start churning out some good shit, ready to move out again. Okay. Okay, the Franks are going after the Goths. Not an ideal outcome, but is what it is. Oh, candidate for adoption. Sure, why not? I could always do with some more family members. Frank's on now fighting the Goths. Let's put in another unit of chosen axemen. Good. Augusta Vendeloricum now has its walls next. What shall we do? There's nothing that's really going to increase income. We will get the Hall of Heroes. And how are the harvests over here? Poor. That will still get us 70 more per turn, and it's good for public order, and we can increase tax. Which is always good, because obviously taking Rome has had a huge positive impact on our economy, but we need to just keep things ticking. 39%, 95, 48. Mm. Where is that other merchant I wanted to acquire? Oh, they, they're out of my reach now. 11%, no. They're 11%. Then I think I will assassinate you. There we go. Excellent. Good, good, good. Assassin ready as you wish. Okay. Sir? Now, who could you take out that doesn't leave you vulnerable? Not many. Let's send you over this way. Anything that isn't 100% around. At your service. Let's have a look at you. Oh, okay, I'd be able to deal with that. It's mostly art, um, step arches. It's nothing too serious. That's what we've got to worry most about because their total defense is pretty high. But it's all good. Now, Rome. Yeah, we continue. Let's have a look at public order. It's dropping. That's good. Not as much corruption as I thought there'd be. Now, um... 
look at that. Golden Band Infantry. We can even recruit a Chosen Warlord. What we do want to get is a Merchant. Now... No, there's nothing hidden down there. 75%. Yep, in we go. I've got an Assassin and a Spy in there. I've only got a unit of common Titenses. We do quite urgently, not urgently, but we do need to deal with this army in the fort. Kind of a shame I let them take it, really. Because now they've got somewhere that they can turtle up. But that is, I think, going to be a problem for next episode. Sorry if I've been a bit a bit uh, lackluster. I've already done two other videos today and a full day at work, and I haven't eaten food yet. I'm absolutely starving. But we shall leave it there. We have sacked Rome. There is only one more place to take in Italy before we have the entire peninsula, and that's Tarentum. And the only Roman army left in Italy is turtled up in a fort, which we plan on taking eventually. And just as I'm concluding, it looks like the game has crashed. Entirely. That is a real shame. Um, yeah. We're definitely going to have to leave it there then. Hopefully it's saved. I have no idea. But uh, I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye.